Strange Fruit was originally recorded by Billie Holiday in 1939. It was first written as a poem by a teacher published in 1937 who was inspired by the gruesome picture shown here of a lynching. I chose to include this song because I wanted to start the project out with something that showed the dark past of America that led to the inequality between blacks and whites that made the civil rights movement necessary. Leading up to the release of this song, there were several murders of African American protesters and attacks by the KKK on civilians. Some of these violent acts include the murders of Emmett Till, a 14-year-old boy from Chicago who flirted with a white woman, Medgar Myers, a director of the NAACP who was fatally shot in his home by a sniper, and the bombing of an African-American church that killed four school-age girls. Simone was a civil rights activist who also wrote a song about the murder of Medgar Myers titled Mississippi Goddamn. It's important to include Nina's re-recorded version to show that the same themes and fear of hate crimes that African-Americans had to deal with in the original year of the recording were still prevalent almost 20 years later. The key lyrics I chose were black bodies swinging in the southern breeze, strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees, which likens African Americans to fruit because they could both be found hanging from trees in the south. While the methods of carrying out hate crimes changed, the overall goal of white supremacists remained the same.